Hi guys, uh, Robbie Rebel here, back in for another video. Um, nearly a month ago now, uh, my good pal, Mr. Summer Michael Davis, tagged me in one of his videos, and this is the the Rank Your Star Wars Films tag, or whatever he wants to call it, uh, where he wants me to rate the Star Wars movies in order that I like them the most, so that's all six of them. Um, and he tagged me because I'm not a big fan of Star Wars, because uh, I'm a Star Trek fan. And you want to hear my views from a Star Trek point of view. So, what I had to do, I had to go and watch all six Star Wars films uh, to refresh my memory on them. Because I haven't watched... I watched the original trilogy on May the 4th. And I was like, okay, this is cool. Uh, but then Simon tagged me and I was like, all oh, right, now I need to watch the prequel trilogy. So I got my hands on the prequel trilogy. I watched them. And, oh, it's hard to say this. But now I've watched them now, I have a more appreciation for them. And I've actually started to like Star Wars. I feel like I have just betrayed the entire realm of Star Trek. I'm sorry. I feel like I should just go and give myself up to the Borg Empire and just, like, assimilate me. Please, I'm just... I'm, I'm not worthy of this... This... Existence. Just... When I... Last time I watched Star Wars, before this, was literally when they came out. And it's obviously not the original. The prequel trilogy, I actually watched every single one in the cinema when they first came out. So, like, last one, which was... What was the last one? The Revenge of the Sith. That came out in what? 2005? That was 10 years ago. And the original trilogy, I watched on ITV when it came out. Uh, it's like, I think like 2001 or two. No, before that, 98. I remember. I remember recording the New Hope on VHS. So I was very young at the age when I first watched Star Wars, and I had. I don't. I didn't appreciate it a lot back then, but now I've watched them. I appreciate them a lot more, and I understand the story a lot more, and. I'm actually attending the Star Wars Celebration next year. Now, I was already attending the Star Wars Celebration next year because literally all my friends are going. All my friends being, of course, Mark Newton, uh, Vinto, Mania, Simon's Comic Corner, uh, and all the Northern Irish lads. They're all coming over for the Star Wars Celebration. So, obviously, if my mates, if all my mates are in London, my city, how am I not going to hang out with them? That'd be stupid. That'd be silly. So I'm going to the Star Wars Celebration next year. And if you want to know when the Star Wars Celebration is, go check out my good pal Chris Vin's videos because he counts down the days at the beginning of every single one of his videos. So we are now officially 3 minutes and 16 seconds in this video and I've yet to rank any Star Wars movies. So starting from the bottom, now we're here. Starting from the bottom, now the whole team's fucking here. Chad. Um, <clears throat> starting from the bottom, at number 6 out of the 6 movies, um, the one I hate, well, the one I like the least has to be episode one, The Phantom Menace. I could not get on with this movie. The, uh, the kid that played Anakin Skywalker I thought was annoying. Um, I thought Natalie Portman in her early role as Queen Amandala was quite annoying. Um, I didn't, I, when I, when I first saw... Qui Gon and it was like Liam Neeson. I was like, dude, that's fucking Liam Neeson. What the fuck's Liam Neeson doing in Star Wars? Um, I was like, okay, so he died. I was like, hang on, this scene looks familiar. This is like when Obi Wan died in A New Hope. Um, sort of, yeah. Uh, Darth Maul, you, you could tell that it, I thought it came across quite low budget, in my opinion. Um, so it wasn't all that. It was on. I didn't really enjoy it. So Phantom Menace is at number six. At number two, uh, I'm going to say A New Hope. Yep, A New Hope. Uh, A New Hope was cool, uh, but it was slow. I thought it was quite slow, and it took me a while to get into it. Um, and of course, Obi Wan dying is just not cool. So, any hope? 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, right, so that's number five. And you have number five. At number four. Four horsemen. Yeah. Number four, I'm going to go with... The Empire Strikes Back. Yep, I'm going to go with The Empire Strikes Back. Um, now, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this because The Empire Strikes Back is has been like arguably arguably voted the best Star Wars film of all time uh, obviously because we get that big uh, shock that Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father um, and all you hear is like, like Luke going no no hanging off oh, my hand <laughs> help um, and obviously with Han Solo being Carbon, carbon, carbon slate thing, and being sent off to Jabba the Hutt. Uh, I didn't mind The Empire Strikes Back, but I just thought that the other films beat it. So The Empire Strikes Back is at number four. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yeah, number four. Number three is The Return of the Jedi. Yes, the original, the prequel trilogy are in my bottom four. No, yes. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, the Return of the Jedi, it ended well, um, and I liked uh, the way that Anakin Skywalker, Darth Vader, was actually the chosen one to defend the Sith, but he kind of like took this massive fuck-off detour of doing it. Oh, I'm a good kid, and I have the chosen one. I'm going to become a Master Jedi. And I'm a Master Jedi now. Oh, but I need to go and join the Dark Side, because... Padme's dying, and so I'm going to go join the dark side. 30 years in the future. Oh, hi, son. Come join the dark side with me. Come on, we're going to go and father-son outings. We're going to go kill some younglings. Come on. Come on. I'll buy you an ice cream. Come on. Come on, you little bastard. Fucking come on now. What? Uh, wait. Hey, hey, hey. He won't join. Emperor, he won't join the dark side. Tell him. I will kill you. Uh, yeah. Father, help me. Join Darkseid then. Um, I don't want to. <laughs> hey, hey, let off. Yeah, he's, he's my boy. Let off. Calm down. No, he must die. <laughs> help me, father. Oi, you fucking start. It's my boy. <laughs> Fuck, fuck it. Have you, son? No one touches my kid. You can beat him. Get go fucking killing, son. Nah, none of that. None of that. You right, boy? Come on, lad, I'll buy an ice cream. So he dies. So Anakin Skywalker was truly the one to destroy the Sith. Who would have thought? Um, so, you know, it, it, it just, it was a complete story. Like that arc, anyway. And that's why it's at number three. At number two is episode two, Attack of the Clones. Uh, I, I was more impressed with the CGI in this movie. Um, obviously, with all the clones and everything. Um, and I love the banter between Yoda and Obi-Wan. And Yoda's like, Hmm, Master Obi-Wan, a planet he has lost. <laughs> I'm just like, ha, 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 yeah, Yoda's schooling Obi-Wan in front of all the kids. Ha, what a dick. <laughs> Little green troll. Um, uh, and I love the action. Uh, I, lo I love Yoda. You saw Yoda fight for the first time in all six movies. Six movies? Five movies. Uh, the fourth, then five movies, anyway. Um, and, he, and he's like, you know, he's hobbling along. He's walking straight around. Bing! And he's like, he's doing like acrobats and somersaults. And everybody's bouncing off the walls like he's on E. Um, and he's fighting... Uh, Samaran the Sam, uh, S Saruman the Black. Uh, fuck me! I thought Sa Saruman died in like the you know the Return of the King. Who would have thought he would have gone for it, lived that far, got into another planet, and became Saruman the Black? Come a Jedi? Fuck no! I don't know. You know. I thought Gandalf would be done with him. You know he's fucking you know. No, he's fucking Star Wars. He's great. He's come a Sith Lord. Um, so Je Yoda's there fight, fighting Saruman the Black, uh, which is a pretty cool scene. And then like they're using their 
Jedi powers, lifting up his big heavy container. And a big fuck off war scene, and you know, I love the love story between Anakin and Padme. That was really cool. I never ever, re I never even realized that it was Natalie Portman that played. Um, Avandala. Padme, there we go. Uh, she looks really different compared to the films that she, like she looks in the films that she comes out the, today. She looks really young and her face is a lot more round. I, just don't, I don't think she uses a lot of makeup during these Star Wars movies. Looks a lot like... Yeah. Oh. Uh, and uh, obviously I loved where the Jedi all came together in like the fighting pits and you know they were like fighting all the droids and shit. And then the clones come and save the day. Yay clones! Woo! Uh, that was really, really good. So I really enjoyed that movie. And of course, my number one Star Wars movie is episode three, The Revenge of the Sith. Uh, with The Revenge of the Sith, it just comes full circle because obviously you knew the prequel trilogy. You knew how that happened. Uh, I mean, you know the original trilogy. You knew how that happened, but you didn't know how that came about. What was the story leading up to it? And that was the point of the prequel trilogy, episodes one, two, and three. That was Anakin's story. Um, the original trilogy was Luke's story. Um, but in episode three, you just it just all came full circle, like everything came together, and I just love how you know the reasons behind Anakin's dark side turn was because of love. So he turned to the dark side because of love. Turned evil for love. He turned evil for love. Fucking that's so poetic. I mean. Uh, but it, it it was like it was the end scene more the end sequence more than anything you know uh, where Anakin's like he's on the ground it, that volcano planet place I don't know that lava pit he's like you know just the torso um, and just Luke and Leia are born Padme dies Luke goes off to live with his uncle and aunt Leia goes off to live with the queen. Um, Obi-Wan's gone with Luke Anakin gets turned to Darth Vader with the help of the Emperor you see the Death Star's getting built and it's like wow they've really set this up really well for episode 4 and you're just like wow this is just full circle now and again that's why I appreciate it a lot more now watching it from an older person's perspective well, from obviously when I first watched them like again like I said 10 years ago I was like what was I 15 I watched episode 3 and I I wasn't keen on them but now watching it back now like I said I appreciate it more now because I understand more now and uh, I don't I, I'm not a big fan of Star Wars I wouldn't go crazy if a Star Wars guest was announced for con I wouldn't like buy Star Wars merchandise um, but I would go crazy for a Star Trek guest Depending on the guest, obviously, um, but I do understand and I and I appreciate Star Wars a lot more now. Um, for for rewatching it now, and I might even have to buy the Blu-ray set because uh, I did like watch them all online. <clears throat> yeah, uh, so <laughs> uh, thank you, Simon, for tagging me in this. Uh, I would now like to tag Mr. Mark Newton 89 and I'm going to tag I don't have any other friends see I don't I'm going to tag We Love Comics he doesn't get tagged in a lot of things We Love Comics I'm tagging you brother I'm tagging you in this. You like Star Wars. You, you buy Star Wars comics. So Mr. Mark Newton 89 and Mr. We Love Comics. Please rank your favourite Star Wars movies. Uh, and make a video on it. Thanks guys. So just to, just to recap on everything here. Phantom Menace number 6. New Hope number 5. Emperor Strikes Back. The Emperor Empire Strikes Back. Number 4. R Return of the Jedi. Number 3. Attack of the Clones, number two. And my all-time number one favourite Star Wars film, Revenge of the Sith. So can I get a... Duh, 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 duh,
。てててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててててて